Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again. The Nordstrom anniversary sale is upon us. And depending on whether or not you are a card holder and what status you hold, you may have already begun to shop. As of the day that I am filming this video, it has been a couple of days where certain card member statuses have been able to shop. And then on July 15th, everybody gets to shop. The public, no matter whether you had a Nordstrom card, what status you are, it doesn't matter, you were able to shop the sale. I'm gonna put all of the dates and everything down in the description box if you don't know them, but just know that on the 15th, everybody can shop. So I typically come on and do a video with my wish list and recommendations. I have quite a few in each category, so I'm gonna do one for my wish list and then I'm gonna go directly into filming another one for my recommendations. That way, if you wanna see one and not the other, you don't have to watch a very long video. So this one is going to be my wish list. I absolutely am not going to be getting everything on this list. In fact, I may or may not have already purchased a few things and I will do a separate haul for that. But these are things that as I was going through the preview sale and then shopping the day that I was allowed access to shop, that caught my eye, that I thought, okay, I need to add them to my wish list on Nordstrom, which if you don't have a wish list on Nordstrom, it is such an easy way to keep track of everything that you want to get, especially if you have looked at the preview now section, so that when that day for you to shop comes about, you can click add cart, add cart, add cart, add cart, and everything's already in your size and exactly what you want. So I'm gonna start out in the beauty section because that's what this channel is about, right? And there were a few things that caught my eye and I'm gonna be putting a picture up. And definitely if you want to know some beauty items that I recommend that I already have, be sure to check out that video as well. But the first thing that caught my eye, I guess I should say the first two things that caught my eye were from the same brand. And the first is the Supergoop Unseen and Play Sunscreen SPF 50 Set. So this is a $78 value. It is on sale for $48. And the reason that I'm interested in this is because I have used the Unseen sunscreen before on clients and I really like it. I feel like it works really well under makeup and I like to have some kind of sunscreen in my kit that does work well under makeup on pretty much every skin type in the case that I have someone that specifically asks for it or it is going to be an all day outside event and I offer it. So definitely looking at that. And another one that I'm looking at from Supergoop is the Glow Duo. So I like this because I have had a sample of the Glow Screen before and I absolutely love it on the body of my clients. It gives this beautiful, shimmering, ethereal glow to it while also providing SPF. Yes, please. I love this. I think it looks really good on anybody that is wearing a dress or a top where you see some kind of like decollete. It just looks very, very pretty. So I like that duo because it also comes with a stick. I would probably not use the stick on clients. I would use that um, for myself or my kids, but the glow screen itself definitely would have a place in my kit. The next thing that caught my eye is this Hourglass palette. Now, if I am correct, this is possibly exclusive to this sale. Now, the reason that I love the idea of this palette is because I do love the Hourglass palettes in general, the trios. I feel like they're really good sizes. They last forever, the amount of product that they give you in the palettes last forever. And I like the setup of this palette. So it comes with Dim Light, which is a great, shade to buff out. You can definitely set with it too. I find that it sets the under eyes well. It doesn't have too much of a reflection to it, so I like it for that, but I really like it to buff out. And it also has diffused heat, which is an ambient lighting blush that I really like, and ambient lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light. Now, this these are all products that I have separately, so I just like the idea of having it in one palette for travel or for my kit. I really like that. If you have not tried Hourglass Powders, this is a great way to do that. A couple of fragrance sets that caught my eye, and these both are from Gucci, and they both would be blind buys for me. 
but I feel like designer fragrances are easier for me to blind buy than some niche fragrances, meaning I'm buying them without having ever smelled them, but I'm going off of the notes and reviews. And one of them is Gucci Guilty Pour Femme, and they have a set that comes with a full size of the Eau de Parfum, a travel size of the Eau de Parfum, and a body lotion with the same scent profile. I love layering lotions with perfumes. I did it today. If I can find a lotion that's in the same scent of the perfume, and I really like the scent of the perfume, I like to purchase that so that I can layer. I feel like the longevity is bumped up and the projection is bumped up and I just love it. So I like that it comes with the body lotion with it. And then the other Gucci perfume that I'm very interested in, especially on the notes alone, is the Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiore Eau de Parfum. Now, I love the original Gucci Bloom. It is a just very beautiful tuberose-based fragrance. And if you don't know, I love tuberose. This one is also tuberose dominant because it is a Gucci Bloom flanker, but it has jasmine, honeysuckle, tuberose, oris, which is iris, and I love, and a damask rose. So it looks really, really nice. And it has a travel size perfume as well as the full size. So I'm very interested in that as well as the Gucci Guilty Pour Femme as far as fragrance goes. All right, let's talk about some shoes. I feel like it is kind of a tradition for me to get some kind of high heel or pump during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. The past four years, I have gotten at least one, if not a couple pairs. And there's one called the Everly Pointed Toe Pump that looks very promising to me. It's almost like a faux leather glossy finish. And they have five colors. So they have um, a brown or what they call light natural. They have a medium green, a pink, an ivory, and a black. I am really looking at the pink. I feel like that just screams Mandy. I love a statement color pair of shoes so much. They're just so pretty. I love to wear like a black or white blouse with some jeans and a really nice pop of color on the feet. And that is a pop of color if I ever saw one. So that's definitely on my wish list. There is also a backpack that I'm really interested in. Now, I am going to Disney in October with the family, and I have backpacks. I know I have backpacks, but I know I'm gonna need backpacks. I know my kids are gonna need backpacks if they really actually wear one. Chad will need one. And there's one from the company called Bays, which I think is Shea Mitchell's like luggage line. And there is a Bays The Backpack that is part of the anniversary sale. And I just really like it. I really like the green one. It's called matcha and that's a perfect description for it because it is a matcha tone. It's got two like water pockets on each side. It's got a laptop sleeve in the back. Um, it's got a nice zipper portion in the front. It just looks like it's very well put together and I just, I love the color. So I'm contemplating that for sure just because, but also for the Disney trip. Now, speaking of trips, we just booked our trip to Scotland next year, which I'm so excited. It's just Chad and I, it's for, it's technically for our anniversary trip this year, but since we're going to Disney, we decided to do it next year and it is going to be fabulous. We're gonna be there for 11 days and I'm gonna need some good luggage. And again, it's not that I don't have good luggage, but it's almost just an excuse that I wanna get some more luggage. <laughs> So there's a couple, I mean, there's one that's called the Toomey um, 31 inch extended trip expandable spinner packing case, but y'all it's $600. I just don't think I can do that for a piece of luggage, but never say never. And there's also one from Amy Kestenberg. It's the 28 inch expandable spinner suitcase. And I like this because it comes in black and white leopard and brown leopard. And I really like to have luggage that stands out against other pieces so that it's easy to see at baggage check and, and baggage claim and all of that. Um, and this one is definitely more reasonable on sale for $149.90. So I'm looking at, at upping my luggage game. What better reason than a trip to Scotland? <laughs> Now there's also another backpack that caught my eye and this was is from 
Herschel Supply Company, but this one is not one that I would get for like a trip. Honestly, I would get this just to carry. I really like sometimes just to carry a backpack versus a purse. And this is the City Mid Volume Canvas Backpack. And the one that caught my eye is most definitely the Harvest Gold. It's this gorgeous yellow color with like a mustardy yellow color and it's got like a leather strap. It's really not expensive. It's only $35.99 and I just like the looks of it. Again, when you look at it, it doesn't look huge. It's more purse-like than travel-like, but I love the color and the price is just right. Now, I also have kind of made it a tradition without really even intending to do so, to get some kind of earrings at the Nordstrom sale. I got these hoops last year. I typically get some kind of Kendra Scott earrings because they have great prices and I love her jewelry. It holds up so well. I have a pair of Kendra Scott drop earrings that I get questions from y'all all the time when I wear it on videos. And I got those a few years ago at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. There is a pair of Kate Spade mini small square stud earrings that I love the looks of. And I like that you can get them in three different colors. So they have opal, rose gold, and multi-glitter gold, but the opal is what I love. That is my birthstone, I'm an October baby. I love anything that resembles opal, and I do like small stud earrings. These hoops are about as big as I get. And I love to have something that goes with everything, and these do, and y'all, these are only $18.99. That's amazing, especially for Kate Spade. So. Definitely looking at those. I had mentioned that I really like Kinder Scott jewelry and there are some hoops. They're called the Camry Beaded Drop Huggy Hoop Earrings and they are on sale for $39.90. And again, they come in two colors. They have, it's a teal kind of silver and then they have a gold white pearl. The gold white pearl is what caught my eye. That's what I'm hoping for. And it, they're just very pretty. And again, very, very well priced for what I know is going to be a good pair of earrings because I've never had a piece from Kinder Scott that doesn't hold up. And then for a very, very, very reasonably priced pair of earrings that I just thought looked fun, I'm looking at the Mixed Metal X Stud Earrings from Madewell. And these again are $15.90 and I love them because they're studs, A, do we sense a theme, and they are mixed metal. So it's like a gold and a silver and they make an X and they're just really cute. And they'll go with everything because it's gold and silver. I just thought that they looked really good. These kind of things I also need to be looking at for my girls because they're just so affordable and you can put them in their stockings at Christmas. It's a great time to look for those kind of things. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I usually shop for myself during these sales, but you know. <laughs> It would be smart if I did some Christmas shopping. Now, the last thing on my wish list so far, because it is ever evolving, is also something that has become a tradition, and that is buying a pair of sunglasses. For the past two years in a row, I have bought sunglasses. Year before last, I bought a pair of Tom Ford. Last year, I bought a pair of Kate Spade. The Kate Spade ones I bought last year were brown. They are brown. I still wear them and love them. I'm looking at the Amaya 56 millimeter gradient polarized cat eye sunglasses from Kate Spade and these are black. Um, very reasonably priced in my opinion for Kate Spade glasses because again, I've had a pair for a year and they hold up beautifully. I really like these because they don't have the added nose pieces. I can't wear sunglasses that have, I can, I choose not to. They tend to give me a headache. Um, these don't have that. And I like the little embellishment on the side. I just really enjoy her sunglasses. And I feel like these cat eye shape are going to look flattering on my oval face. <laughs> So those are all of my wish list items. Again, as of right now, some may have changed. Maybe I have something in my haul that I didn't talk about here. Who knows? But I will definitely let you know once that comes in. But right now, I'm gonna sign off on this video. If you want to see my recommendations, then definitely stay tuned for that. I will have that up in a second video. And those are just going to be tried and true products that are part of the sale that I know for sure are worth it. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and look down in the description box for all the links on products that I've talked about. They are affiliate links. I really appreciate it if you choose to use them and support my channel. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.